Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here. This video is in continuation of video 1 on Poisson distribution. So before I start, I would like to mention here that on the top, this is the blog address of mine on which I have put up all the links of my videos so that a student can find them easily at one place and I'm trying to give headings which can help them to go directly to the video which they are looking for. So in the previous video I discussed three points of the syllabus which were these. What are the condition of Poisson distribution? How do we calculate probability, uh, Poisson probability distribution? And what are the mean and variance of the Poisson distribution? And in this video we will cover the other three aspects of the syllabus which are Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution, normal approximation to the Poisson distribution, and the sum of independent Poisson variable. So these three um, concepts we will cover with the help of past paper question taken from CIE exam. And for the explanation purpose, I have uh, used this book. This is the new edition of the Croshaw statistics book. So let's see the concept of the Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution. Now question is given to you in binomial distribution and you will use Poisson to get the probability. This is the meaning of the concept. So let's recall what is a binomial distribution. You have done in S1. For binomial distribution the two parameters which are given to you n and p. n is the number of the trials and p is the proportion uh, probability of the success, the proportion of the success. So now we know from previous S1 that mean is equals to NP, variance is equals to NPQ and definitely a standard deviation is root of NPQ. This is we have learned before. So let's start the Poisson approximation for the binomial questions. Now the thing is whenever you are using approximation you always have to check certain condition. If those conditions are met, only then you can use approximation. So if question is given to you in binomial distribution, then you have to check that n is greater than 50 and np is less than 5. If these two conditions are met, then yes, you can use Poisson approximation. And the lambda, which is the mean, uh, will be your NP basically. So the normal uh, binomial distribution then will take shape of the Poisson distribution and it will be written like this. And writing distributions in the solution is very important. You will see in marking a scheme at time it carries one mark. So let's see the application of the concept with the help of the example which I have taken from June 14 variant 7 1 question 4. The question is talking about a particular gene in people and on average it is 1 in 1000. And sample of 3500 people from a central country is chosen. And it is important to tell your random variable in the question with the respect of the scenario okay, what it is talking about. So x here is about the number of the people who have that particular gene. Right? So the question is in is clear to you and now let's see there are two parts of the question. The first part of the question says okay, state the distribution of x mean the random variable which is talked about here. What is the distribution of it and then state appropriate approximation which you will use to solve the probability of the question. Give the values of any parameter in each case. So justify your choice of the approximating distribution. So the question is clear, we have to tell why we are using any approxim, uh, appropriate approximation. So definitely we have to mention here the conditions. So can you recall what I have just told you, which conditions you have to mention here? Yes, you have to mention that n is greater than 50 and np is less than 5. So let's see how can you write it. So first of all, question is saying, here state the distribution of x. So you have to tell the distribution is binomial and you have to mention it like this with the help of parameters. Sometimes students just mention the name like this and they lose marks. So 
so you have to be careful in writing every steps so after writing the distribution of the random variable which is given in the question now you are telling here that the approximate uh, appropriate approximation will be poisson distribution and why you are telling this then you will justify the condition you will say n is greater than 50 in the question it was a sample of 3500 so it is greater than 50 and then you are showing here multiplying n by p if you remember p was on average 1 in 1000 so 1 divided by 1000 is equal to this right so when you multiply it is 3.5 which is less than 5 so both the conditions are met it means we can solve this binomial distribution question using Poisson distribution and it will be an approximate now the second part of the question is saying he using use the appropriate approximating distribution to find this but you see why the name of the approximate distribution is not given here because in the earlier part part one he was asking what approximate distribution you are using so definitely you are using Poisson so now you will mention here the distribution of it and the formula of the probability you are using for it we all know this e to the power minus lambda lambda x divided by x factorial and this is the probability of the condition we are finding out so he is asking probability for x less than equals to 3 it means the number of the people have gene that particular gene are less or equals to 3 in those thousand people so we have this uh, distribution this is my lambda so probability of x less than equals to 3 simply means probability of x equals to 0 x equals to 1 x equals to 2 and x equals to 3 so your lambda is 3.5 and your x for this formula in each case will be 0 1 2 3 so now I'm plugging in the values in this formula right so e to the power minus lambda lambda I have picked up from here lambda power x this is my x 0 and x factorial is 0 factorial similarly here e to the power minus lambda lambda is I have picked up from here lambda power x now my x is 1 and 1 factorial and so on so I have calculated and I will tell you one thing here if you look at in all these what is the common number e to the power minus 3.5 so when you are solving question it's better take that common out and it will take this shape so calculation will be easy chances of error will be less so be intelligent using calculator and writing numbers properly to avoid confusion many times it happens that a student write correct formula correct substitution but the answer comes wrong it's because of the definitely wrong uh, entering of the number or some sign so try avoid those and try to get full marks so this is the probability of x less than equals to 3 and we write answers in 3 significant figure which is the instruction given on the first page of the question so you have to be careful about it now let's see the second can, um, second second example and the other aspect of the syllabus now the next part of the syllabus is about normal approximation to the Poisson distribution it means question is given to you in Poisson distribution but you are using normal approximation so and I have told you whenever you are using uh, using approximation you check conditions also so let's see what are the condition in this case so if x follows a Poisson distribution lambda is given to you in the question and you know the question is on Poisson distribution then you know that your mean is lambda and your variance is lambda right this we know from Poisson distribution and the condition is if lambda is greater than 15 then you can use normal approximation and the perimeter of the normal will be lambda comma lambda and you write it down like this so this Poisson distribution 
takes the shape of this normal distribution for approximate calculation and it is only possible if lambda is greater than 15. So you will check this condition and then you will write this approximate distribution of normal and then you will use it in calculation. But another very important thing, Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution and normal distribution is a continuous distribution. It means then random variable need to be changed by adding and subtracting 0.5. If you remember, you have done that in S1. So continuity correction application is extremely important and we will see it in the example I have taken from CIE course, uh, past papers. Okay, so let's see this example which I have taken from November 15, variant 7, 1 and question 6. Before I start, I would like to say here, if you find that explanation is fast and you are finding it difficult to cope up, cope, uh, cope up with this, you can pause the video and try to absorb the information. Because you see, when we are learning something first time, we want somebody to explain it again and again and slowly. Everybody has different learning style. Some people get it in one explanation, some need two, three times to be explained. So you can pause the video, revise it, watch again and then go on, move forward. So it will help you and you can keep writing information in your copy also because when we write we understand better. So let's come back to this example which uh, I have taken to explain the case of normal approximation for the boson distribution. So in this question it is talking about uh, on average errors on number of pages on the first draft of some book. So it is given that on average there is one error in every three page in the first draft and we have to find the probability that in a particular first draft there are fewer than 50 errors in 200 pages. So by the way you will see I have written here part 3. Part 1 and part 2 are related to the concept I have taught in video 1 so that's why I have skipped those two parts. So if you have seen my video 1 for the Poisson distribution you can easily solve part 1 and 2. So that's why to save the time and coming directly to the point, I have picked up this part number 3. So question is saying, find the probability that in a particular first draft, there are fewer than 50 errors in 200 pages. So fewer than 50 means a probability of x less than or equals to 50. If you use Poisson distribution, you will take a lot of time to solve it individually for each random variable and it will eat up your time. So we will use normal approximation but we need to check the condition. Can we use normal approximation or not? So condition was that <clears throat> lambda is greater than lambda is greater than what did I tell you? 15. So let's see if the condition meets or not. What is given to you in the question that for three pages there is one error on average. So for 200 pages how many errors are here? So we will do cross multiplication and we will get lambda equals to 200 divided by 3. And this is definitely greater than 15, right? So yes, we can use normal approximation to solve the question. So let's find out the probability for error less than n equals to 50, which was the question. Okay, so this is the question. And because it was saying fewer than, that's why I will not use equal to symbol here. This is also a mistake uh, made by student at time. They are confused either to write or not. So just read the question properly. It is very clearly written fewer than 50. So I will not use equals to sign. And since lambda is greater than 15, we have just calculated. So we can use normal approximation. And this will be my distribution for normal approximation. Lambda comma lambda. And I am using what I have just found out in the previous uh, a while ago. So this is my mu and this is my variance. Now as I said, I am using continuity correction. Uh, sorry, continuity correction because Poisson is discrete data and normal is continuous data. 
so that's why we will use continuity correction less than 50 now the question is we will add 0.5 or subtract 0.5 i have noticed students are usually confused about it so let me tell you how you can make your life easy so let's see x less than 50 for example you can either draw or you can imagine if this is 50 right less than 50 mean you're talking about this side consider a number line in your mind right now less than 50 mean 50 is not included because there is no equals to sign so if i add 0.5 it will be 50.5 and i will go this way which will include 50 and i don't want to include it so that's why i will not add 0.5 if I subtract 0.5, it will become 49.5. This side it will be 49.5. And if I add, it will be 50.5. Question is saying less than 50. It means we have to go to the left hand side. So that's why I will subtract. Because if I go here and then go left, it will include 50. But if I go here and then go left, it will exclude 50. And I have to exclude 50. I do not have to include it. So that's why I will subtract 0.5. So 50 will become 49.5. So now I will use normal approximation for random variable less than 49.5. And we know that when we are using normal approximation, we use a standardized normal distribution uh, table which is in z so i need to change x into z using this formula z is equals to x minus mu over standard deviation so my x which is 49.5 will change into z using this formula and it is minus 2.102 so now i will find out the probability using the table given to us and all of you know how to read that table so the purpose is not to teach reading table here so this simply means if I explain it with the help of the diagram because this is 0 comma 1 it is in the center and z values are negative on this side and positive on this side so minus 2.102 will be somewhere here on this side and I'm talking about less than that so it means I'm talking about this probability in the table you are not given negative values of z you are only given positive values of z so using symmetry it means symmetry of this is here right so if just a minute so if i need to calculate this probability it means i want this probability right according to symmetry it will be minus 2.102 but when you use table, it always gives you the value on the left hand side. So the values, forget about it for a minute. So if you see the values of a value of the probability for this z less than this side, it is 0 0.9822. But reason is we need to calculate this probability. I'm subtracting it from 1 because 100% probability is 1. So that's why we are subtracting it. And my probability is 0 0.0178 in three significant figure. So I hope it is clear. And um, because I try to keep the length of my videos on average 15 minutes. So I'll explain the last concept of the syllabus, which is about the sum of the independent boson variable. And two very important questions from the past paper. I will explain also in that. One of the question is very challenging for most of the student. So thank you very much for watching this. And now you can watch video three to complete the course of the Poisson distribution. If you like or learn anything from this video, I would say to press like button and uh, bell and subscribe. Thank you once again.